Christmas adventure in the house that Mickey Mouse built. I have a leaky silcock out in the garden. I'm gonna try to replace it. Sounds easy enough. Never is. Let's get to it. Things first, shut off the water supply to the thing. In my case, for some reason, there's two valves. I'm gonna shut, you shut this one off, then at the bottom here is the winterization valve. Use a wrench or similar to unscrew it, and then water will pour out into your bucket. Hopefully this thing isn't f***ed on your end and it'll work just fine. Next, remove the two Phillips screws that hold it into place on this wood paneling. Making sure that the water's off and turning the silcock on and off to make sure that nothing comes out. We come to this. I've already taken the liberty of taking it apart, but see what some yuts did here. They actually soldered it into this. They inserted the copper pipe and they soldered it. This is supposed to be for a coupling. Why would you solder it in place? If theoretically you had the same setup I have here, you would take a torch, wear some thick leather gloves, take a wrench, heat up the joint once the water is all drained out of here, and then you wiggle the pipe once it's hot. You wiggle it off simultaneously, or well, you heat it up and then you would manage to wiggle it off. Then you yank it out. Next up, we're gonna apply this half inch adapter. First things first, we need to prep it, scouring the inside surface with some sandpaper, the outside surface as well. Now it's nice and scoured. Next, we're gonna apply some flux paste. This is basically a mild etchant, preps it for the solder. Assuming your other pipe is already also prepped, because you should do the same, sand it, flux it. Next, we're gonna heat it up, being careful not to burn ourselves, nor any surrounding wood. I believe the normal protocol is to put a little bit of fiberglass if it's way too close for comfort when it comes to wood. All right, we are hot. I'm gonna seal the rest of it with a bit of solder. Oh yeah. It's shiny, it's fresh, it's the new, new silcock. In. Some pipe thread sealant, three times, four times. Right on, gonna go outside where I have better leverage. Orient it nicely. Now, put your bleed valve back on, we're gonna test things out. See if everything we did is Gucci. We're back on. Oh shit. Hell no, we need to tighten that a little more. Okay, let's try this again. Forgot something though. After soldering, always wipe off the pipe with a rag because the flux is an acid and it'll keep corroding the pipe. Right. Inspect your solder joint again because you don't understand how valves work. Uh-huh. It's not my solder joint, but it is this joint right here, so I need to unscrew that thing and tighten it a bit further. I mean, it's tight as hell, which makes me nervous about cracking it. Oh, well. Oh, shit. Oh crap, I twisted the fucking thing. Much, much, much later. Okay, after struggling way too freaking hard to get this to seal properly, I now see that I was wrong. The plumber who did this is a genius and I'm a bozo. Almost fucking impossible. I had to wind it 10 to 15 times and then I had to torque it using immense amounts of strength. So whoever, the poor sap who has to do this job after me, they're gonna hate my guts. Anyways, after verifying that it doesn't leak, don't forget to caulk it. There. And that's about it. I mean, shit, what can I say? It took me all of, what, five minutes to solder the pipe, but it took me a solid hour and a half to get it to stop leaking with that Teflon tape. So, soldering pipe, I think it's a good skill to learn. Anyways, I hope this has been useful. Cock that like button if it was, and solder that subscribe button. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. <laughs>